Hello and uh, welcome to Debrief. Uh, today um, I'll just give you an update on uh, my calcium reactor setup. So uh, as you guys know I've been dosing uh, Tropic Marine uh, balling the three part solution and uh, I've gotten up to about uh, three uh, actually 160 ml per day and uh, given the dosing container is about 1.5 liters that um, that needs to be refilled you know in less than 10 days so uh, that's pretty hard to keep up and plus all the mixing to create the dosing liquid uh, from the dry salt is is such a big pain so i decided uh, to uh, try a calcium reactor so this is um, the uh, skims 152 um, calcium reactor and um, it's uh, it's bigger than what i need but uh, for uh, a calcium reactor bigger is better actually um, and uh, this is not new this i got used uh, from a fellow reefer um, so i have uh, the uh, cm152 calcium reactor skims and then um, um, so uh, the media that I'm using in inside that is uh, the uh, um, TLF Rebon and uh, TLF Remag for magnesium. Uh, I had to use a little more than uh, one big bag of uh, which is four kg. So I might have kind of maybe used six kilos in total. It does have a small uh, second chamber, uh, although I'm not too sure whether it's. Um, uh, going to be uh, doing anything useful uh, since it's so small uh, but hey um, any second chamber is better than nothing right um, so and uh, I've got my uh, uh, pH probe on it um, so um, this is the Neptune pH probe um, so the way I've got it uh, feeding is uh, using this Camor FX STP2 uh, pump and um, so I'll maybe do a separate uh, short video on the pump itself but um, the uh, this pump is actually pulling um, so it's on the uh, effluent side uh, this is the exit from the uh, uh, from the uh, uh, calcium reactor which is feeding into the uh, input of the pump and uh, the this this is the exit from the um, pump uh, which is going into the uh, tank so um, so I'm pulling uh, and uh, the intake uh, for the um, calcium reactor is right here and that is um, um, that is powered by a small maxi jet so I'm actually pushing a small amount of water into the calcium reactor and uh, then using the dosing pump to pull i i did try to just pull uh, using i mean push using the dosing pump but the uh, output was kind of not very regular so um let's see i think um, yeah so it's running 43 mils a minute over there right um and the output is, uh, let me show you, the output is that black, small, uh, the black uh, line that is dripping. So that's the output and um, yeah, get a pretty stream. I'll probably drop it down, um, right? Um, I'll probably drop it down um, because I don't need 40 ml of in it. Uh, when I actually plug in the pump um, so that's the the uh, small max hit pump. And I don't think it's very easy to see. So I'm just feeding using a small max jet, right? So what I've done is this is running. This entire setup is running now without uh, uh, without the uh, carbon dioxide plugged in. I just wanted to kind of get um, this dialed in. Get uh, any air residual air that's uh, inside kind of removed 
although you can see there is there's a bit of air left uh, uh, but it's completely silent uh, uh, so this is just running just water through the um, um, through the reactor and just that so I'm gonna get the uh, carbon dioxide uh, tank cylinder today and then I'll hook it up um, uh, and run a very low dose so I'm gonna run it along with my um, balling solution so the balling is right here I'm feeding it uh, to come over for that pump as you can see so I'll keep this on running um, for a while uh, till the calcium reactor is kind of fully dialed in I'm going to monitor pH um, and then uh, I'm going to have it run about 7.9 I think uh, I mean 6.9 or to 7 um, not very low um, so yeah that's uh, that's the plan um, I'll uh, maybe add another video to this once I have the carbon dioxide uh, cylinder and properly hooked in all right thank you for watching bye